Nice. So, a pleasant good morning to the listeners of the Street 9 1.9. Uh, you know, we always here on a Saturday, Saturday morning. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't here last week. Uh, we had some technical difficulties where that was concerned. Um, on our end, that is. And as a result, we weren't here on um, last Saturday. So we do apologize for that. But as usual, always a pleasure to be here on a Saturday morning discussing health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. Keep in mind, we are live on the Street 9 1.9 and their social media platforms, Facebook as well as YouTube. Uh, we are also live on Batson and Associates social media platforms. We are live on Facebook. We are Batson and Associates Limited. And we already have persons on. A pleasant good morning to Miss Anne Marie Barr. A pleasant good morning to Miss Eve Olivet McFarlane. And Miss Josie Smith. Miss Josie Smith is actually in London. So we actually have London in the house bright and early. And we are also live on Instagram. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. We have a number of persons in with these fancy names. The thing is clearly yeah, I'm a, a old man. And I don't realize it because um, you know the names on Instagram does be I don't know. I don't know. How to be a young people thing. Just to read it alone does be sometime a little um, difficult. But uh, all in all, I, I should be able to get through. And uh, uh, we are also live on YouTube. YouTube, we are back to associates to that. So this morning, we get right into it. We're discussing health, health from a natural and integrated perspective. Keep in mind, today, Saturday, uh, one of the things we're actually working on is open clinic day in Baxter and associates. And what that means is that you don't necessarily have to have an appointment. However, we will ensure that we um, make significant um, allocations for you on a Saturday. And this Saturday is no difference. At the Shogona's office, we have open clinic days. So we do have a few people coming in, but we do have some spaces still. So if it is you uh, you interested in that, you can always contact the office. I'm going to give the numbers to the Shogona's office. That's be taking place in Shogona's. Shogonas is 222-8261. That's 222-8261. And that office is located on the first floor of Money Talks Building. That is Money Talks Building in Montreal, Shogonas. We are also on the corner of Ramsey, Mooch Trace, and the SS Irene Main Road in Debe. The number for Debe is 223. That's 223-7515. Again, 223-7515 is for Debe. And that office is located... Uh, on the corner of Ramsey Wood Street and the SS Green Main Road in Davie. St. James is the Red Edge Mall. That's Western Main Road, St. James. That telephone number is 220-8113. That's 220-8113. And Tobago, of course, is the Triangle Building in Scarborough, Tobago. That number is 226-4553. Again, 226-4553. So you listen to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson and Associates. And for those of you who may not be familiar, with who Bats and Associates are. We are primarily an organization of trained consultants, uh, myself being the, the senior consultant, uh, and we specialize in what is known as integrative medicine. Now, a lot of persons don't understand that. A lot of persons are, you know, as I tell uh, individuals, I've been doing this for almost 13 years. This year, uh, September is going to make it 13 years uh, that I've been doing this uh, as a practitioner. And, you know, I tell persons I'm not in the politics and medicine. I, I don't have time for that. I, I'm not in the politics. I'm going to hold some time, depending on, on the scenario. But when medicine is concerned, I don't have time for that. Um, and when I say the politics of medicine, what I'm referring to is, you know, a lot of persons tell you, you know, don't do this and don't do cleanses and don't use herbs and this don't work and we don't know what causes people to get diabetes and we don't know why people are sick. And if you have diabetes, you get it from your, your family and it's genetic and you have nothing to do. No, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. not in that foolishness. You know why? Because it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It, when you look at integrative medicine, integrative medicine primarily encompasses various types and models of medicine. Um, you know, you have allopathic medicine, which is Western medicine, which is medicine where doctors would prefer prescribe either medication for you, surgery, or chemotherapy and radiation. That's what Western or allopathic medicine is. Then you have Chinese medicine or Oriental medicine, which is primarily based with a lot of energy medicine. They understand, you know, the spiritual aspect of the body, the supramental aspect of your body, which is your conscious or your subconscious mind, your conscious mind, your energy body, 
So they actually incorporate a lot of um, things like you know meditation and looking at various aspects of relaxation, breathing techniques, that type of thing, uh, exercise, diets, the specific use of specific types of herbs, minerals, that type of thing. Then you have Ayurvedic medicine, which primarily came out from their neighbors, which is India. And again, the, 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 the basis of the medicine is primarily the same, where it, there is very, um, you know, again, energy-based, spiritual-based, that type of thing. And then you have um, what is known uh, as homeopathic or homeopathic rather medicine, uh, which is or, or naturopathic medicine, which primarily has to do with more herbal combinations, um, you know, actually targeting base aspects or root cause problems. So integrative medicine is basically a combination of all of those because there are some instances where you may have a patient, you may have to use insulin, for example, as a diabetic until certain things start to work in your body and your digestive system is improved, certain things start to um, work better. Then in those instances, it means that uh, um, Gradually, you're actually correcting the root cause of the problem, and that is what we do at Baxter Associates. So, so that's why I said I'm not in the, med in the politics of medicine. You know, it depends on what circumstances you're dealing with, the specific type of medication or medical protocol going to apply. Not all the time surgery is necessary, and I've seen that in thousands of cases where you know persons may have had problems with their eyes, they may have had problems with their back, they may have had problems with their lungs, and you know, because of the decisions that were made for them, um, or which I think it was ill-advised and ill-informed, they ended up in situations where they kind of walk now as a result of doing a back surgery where all they may have needed was to fix your calcium, magnesium balance in your body, get a chiropractor, do some exercise, and then your problem solved, as opposed to going and open up yourself to serious harm and then result in, in, in your situation being worse than it was in the beginning. That doesn't really make any sense. And, and that's what I'm saying. A lot of the times, in instances like that, it depends on what you're dealing with. If you deal with an emergency, of course, you fall off a building, you was in a vehicle accident or something like that, you can't wave in and do. Drink herbs? No. You need to get yourself in the hospital. That's why they have emergency rooms, because it is an emergency where the physical body is now in, a, in an emergency, and as a result of that, the only... Um, all the focus has to be on that part of the body because that is what is in severe danger at this point in time. You can't deal with the other bodies. You'll have to deal with those afterwards. But the physical body at this particular point in time becomes critical and as a result needs to be worked on immediately. And that is the difference that a lot, a lot of individuals don't understand. You need to understand. You know diabetes? You need an alternative integrative approach where diabetes is concerned. Why? Because diabetes has nothing to do with your mother and your father and your sister and your cousin and your dog. What diabetes has a lot to do with is your practice and lifestyle over a period of time. You do not get diabetes overnight. Diabetes can never be an overnight thing. You can't just start eating sugar like foolish and then you start to be and tomorrow you are diabetic. No. Diabetes, especially type 1 diabetes, is chronic and it indicates serious imbalance in in serious imbalances rather in the body it also indicates uh issues associated with malabsorption digestive problems metabolic problems but the point i'm making it is a culmination of um things that were left to go wrong and they were never addressed and, and that's because sometimes you have people who have acid reflux for example and acid reflux if it is not dealt with and gotten rid of, for want of a better expression, you're going to meet some problems. You're going to end up with some sort of diabetic problem, some sort of cancer problem, because of that aspect of the foundation being out of balance, and it, it, it actually never was corrected. And as a result of that, things would remain in a particular manner. So those are some of the things that you need to really pay close attention to. So of course, feel free to give us a call or visit. Today is our open clinic day in Shabonas. So in case, you know, you have somebody who's very sick, you have someone who, you know, you have a problem, and you have a problem a while now. You're sick, yes. You have problems with headache. You know, there are some people, like I dealt with someone recently, or we rather, um, as an organization, dealt with this particular client who had headaches for 10 years. Like severe, severe, you know, have to take painkiller medication, lie down and sleep, miss five, six days in work, headaches. 
And in dealing with the individual, in five days, the headache went. And it never came back. And we have been dealing with that individual six months now. And this is headaches that they had consistently for 10 years. There was also someone we dealt with who had issues associated with dizziness, lightheadedness. That's the next thing a lot of persons experience. It. And I'll explain to you shortly, um, within the time frame, what really causes that dizziness feeling or what is known as vertigo. What causes vertigo? Vertigo has to do with poor circulation in your brain. Your circulation in your body is divided in two pulmonary circulation is above your heart, systemic circulation is below your heart. There is some, there's a condition known as pulmonary hypertension, which a lot of people have. If you have hypertension, it's bad enough there, but if you have pulmonary hypertension, well, that is a thing. That's serious stroke and brain aneurysm and blood clot situation, deep vein thrombosis, nonsense. No, I love to Because if you're dealing with pulmonary, it's just circulation above your heart. But you could, you could have, you are a, a walking, talking, waiting to happen stroke. Anyone who would have gotten strokes, or in some cases, TIAs, which are transient ischemic attacks, or what are known as mini strokes, have a poor circulation to the brain situation. And that's why you get dizziness, sometimes your short-term memory. You cannot remember what you went into a room for. You cannot remember what you went into the refrigerator for. You put in things that are supposed to go in the refrigerator, any cupboard, and things that are supposed to go in the cupboard in the refrigerator. So when you start to do that, you're getting close to Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Um, vascular dementia or dementia. Yes, the, the, the brain cells not functioning properly. And, and that is not me attempting be to be facetious or disrespectful in any manner. It is a fact. It is an indication that something is wrong with you. So let me say again a pleasant good morning. We have a lot of persons on Facebook. Those of you who are listening, you could join us on Facebook. We are Batson and Associates Limited. You could like us, you could share us. On Instagram, we are Batson and Associates TT. And on YouTube, we are Batson and Associates trinidad we are live on the street 91.9 you're listening to dr jason batson the senior medical director at batson and associates have a pleasant good morning to miss catherine and uh, we also have a pleasant that is catherine's s-u-c-r-e su su supre yeah supre um sin claims ng says they agree pleasant good morning to you um miss roseanne didier she says, good morning, Dr. Batson. How long does your products take to deliver? Um, it depends, Ms. Didier. Are you referring to Trinidad or are you referring to outside? If you're looking at Trinidad, primarily maybe about your order, maybe three to four days after your order. That's, that's what you're looking at. Um, if it's overseas, it depends on, of course, where you're located. Um, for anybody, anyone who requires information about products and products for overseas, you can contact us at 314. That's 314. 9975 that's 314 9975 and uh, uh, you can actually get your information of course you'll be putting in the area code 1868 and uh, those telephone numbers for the Shagona's office if you have intentions or want to come to our open clinic day today you can do so uh, the Shagona's number again is triple two eight two six one that's triple two eight two six one for clarification sake let me let you know what open clinic day means um Basically, we would have discounts on this day. However, you know, open does mean free, right? So there is some cost attached to it. Of course, if you're doing your consultation, if you're doing your blood analysis, your magnetic resonance analysis, there's a four in one that we have um, where you do your live blood, your dry blood, um, your magnetic resonance analysis. And there's a scan similar to an MRI, which picks up certain things in the body. Um, some people have some issues with it. I, I love it because I believe it is about 80 to 85% correct. Um, and I have seen it work better than a lot of other medical devices. Um, blood analysis, I always like, because with that, you actually see what is known as biological terrain. So we can actually see your blood cells, see the, the quality of them, if they're healthy, if they're not healthy, if they have parasites, if they have issues with various um, detoxification problems. A lot of persons, your blood literally stick and clump, to about, clump together. Remember the reason why your red blood cells are concave and not flat is to take advice or, or take advantage of what is known as surface area to volume ratio. So with a concave uh, blood cell, the surface area is larger, much larger than if it was flat. Right? So if you have blood cells sticking up together, it means that you have an issue where you do not have proper what? Oxygen exchange. And we're talking about oxygen exchange to what? To cells. 
Remember the basic building block of the body is what? Cells. Cells give you tissues, tissues give you organs, organs give you organ systems, and organ systems give you the body. Always remember that. Cells give you tissue. So, for example, you have a heart cell. The tissue, for example, in the heart would be like, for example, the myocardium, which is the wall of the heart. Tissues give you organs, so the myocardium and other various parts make up the heart, which is an organ. Then you have organ systems. So, for example, the heart is part of the cardiovascular system. And then you have different systems in the body that come together to give you the body. So you have, for example, the cardiovascular system. You have the muscular skeletal system, which comprises of your bones, ligaments, tendons, those type of things. So the thing is, if you're not working primarily, that whole long narrative really was to say that you need to deal with the body from a cellular level. Cellular, cellular. Because you cannot deal with the body from organ level and even my body level. You can't do that. It would not accept it. It cannot. Because it is built out badly already. And in that bad building out, I mean, yes, over a period of time, you change certain things, your diet, your detox, you do certain things, you're going to bring back significant improvement. So that is something, excuse me, that you need to pay very, very, very close attention to. A pleasant good morning to Ms. Didier. Ms. Didier say, I would like to know if the alcohol water and milk store is available for pickup. And what will you advise a person with high blood pressure to take on the day of a funeral to be calm? Ooh. Ah, uh, take out two nerve restore. The nerve restore will help to keep you calm. Um, uh, there's a tea that we normally use. We have a blood pressure tea at Baxter and Associates. And, and, and a little bit of meditation too. I mean, get up early in the morning. I mean, funeral is funeral. I don't know who, who you lost. Um, any funeral is never a good thing. Um, so I tell people I don't like to go to funerals, but then we know funerals is not for the dead, it's ready for the living. You know, to give you warnings and whatever the case may be. So, you know, and, and make you want to adhere better, you know, um, as it relates to living a, a better life in general. Right? So, the thing with that is, uh, you know, uh, that will help you on that day. The hypertension T is also a bit better as well. That's going to help in regulating the blood pressure. Okay, Ms. Daly. So, um, I hope would, I, I, that would have been some advice for me. Right? Uh, there's a Miss Carol Meyer says good morning. Miss Abigail Thomas says good morning, Dr. Batson. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. God bless. Miss Lisa Alben, good morning to Dr. Batson. Miss Kimora Khan, do you have alcohol water? Miss Khan, if you would have gone to Debbie before Debbie did not have, Debbie would have gotten yesterday and said, no, day before yesterday, sorry, and St. James got on, um, got yesterday. So we do have alcohol water. And um, we'll be sure ensuring that all those other offices will be fully stocked by weekend, God's willing. So we do apologize for that, but you know how things go in the in the whole um, system, uh, especially now after we have dealt with COVID and how we deal with war and all this craziness. Okay, uh, again, a pleasant good morning to our listeners on Instagram. Instagram, I find only quiet and all. You all don't ask any questions, right? So uh, the topic I wanted to actually discuss this morning, I started just talking. Uh, was actually a topic associated with poor circulation, where we basically started to talk about it because we spoke about strokes and TIEs and Parkinson and Alzheimer's and those type of things. And what you real what you realize is that once your circulation is poor, as I said, you have a poor circulation issue from the cells, and the, once the basic building blocks of the body are not healthy, it's like if you have a foundation for a house, right? If your house leaning, we just say, or a house is leaning. Leaning from the ground upright. What you'll do? Go and fix the windows, fix the roof, fix the doors. No, you have to fix the foundation, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. Is your foundation strong? Is your foundation resilient? Is your foundation healthy? Most people no. One of the basic foundations of the human body is hydration. What is hydration? The sufficient intake of what? H2O. Water. Water. And this is where a lot of people and I would have serious falling out. Is this nonsense where you want to be telling, watching big people and telling them, you don't like how water this tastes? You're nonsense. You hear what I'm telling you? You're not a lot of nonsense. You're not a child. You're an adult. And you understand certain things. Would you decide, okay, um, I feel like it flying. You know this song, I feel like it flying? That, that song I can sing. So let's decide, you decide, you just influenced by this song. 
and you decide you could fly in your van run off a building, would you fly? Because you say or think you could fly? Of course not. Because there's a law called what? Gravity. And gravity dictates that all bodies falling towards the earth fall at a constant acceleration known as acceleration due to gravity, which is like nine point something. That's, that's physics. So you're going to fall. And there's a particular rate at which you're going to fall to. That's the really how precise the thing is. So you cannot take your mad self and say, well, I don't like how water this day. And if I water this day, is bad. You can drink water. You'll be peeing and what it is what you want to do. Water is not for the dead. It is for the living. So if you are living and if you want to remain alive, then you need to drink sufficient amounts of water. And the rule for drinking water is your body being divided by two in what? Ounces. So forget the nonsense. You're on stupidness. Start to drink your water. Get a clock. Get a watch, get some timing device, and if you need to put it and set it, you drink water maybe every. Because you rule an empty stomach is anywhere between, let's say, an hour before a meal, two and a, two hours after a meal. We carry alkaline water. What is alkaline water? Should you buy alkaline water? Is does it make sense to buy alkaline water? Or is this young man deciding to tell you nonsense for you to take your money to buy water? No, there's a valid reason why I'm telling you. To use the water, I don't tell you to buy the water every day. And it's other water you just buy. So if there's a proper good quality of alkaline water for you to buy premium alkaline water, then you need to take a try. This is a company who has given you Santulan, which is a seven channel detox, screens and detoxify, kidney, colon, bloodstream, level, and perfect system, skin and lungs. So if we have a product that good, obvious our water is not boo. You hear somebody on the live asking me, which is miscan if we get water, that water never stays. And you think if we don't bottle water and put it down for months and it's proper fresh thing you're getting. You know? yeah, this is not water that stay in gas station. And you, know? you see which part they store water. In some cases, I see these buddies people, man. You don't realize people don't drink this. How you put water in a gas station? That's just a side note, right? All the fumes and things, we're not going. This happens in the sun sometimes. The front of the supermarket and the water in front. With the hot sun hitting that glass. That is plastic. That is plastic. You know what you're doing yourself? So find out about the alkaline water premium alkaline water uh it has orp which is known as oxidative reduction potential which is a big acronym to say it is an antioxidant water what are antioxidants antioxidants are molecules that fight oxidation oxidation is what free radical damage for example rust those type of things so you want your body to have a lot of antioxidants because it slows down aging it slows down that stage of having problems with, with degeneration of your bones, especially women. There's something you'll need to pay attention to. Uh, keep in mind, we have our special run in this month on our product called Inflammation Formula and Nerve Restore. And I'll, uh, very soon I'll tell you what those two products are, what do they do. Uh, keep in mind, we have our family tree coming up. That is a promotion we're having next month. And what that means is that you're basically getting a steal of a deal once three persons come together. We actually have a lecture series that we're going to be doing um, with that. So it's, a, it, it's something you could call and get information. The price is right. Um, once it's three persons coming to make it sense. And, you know, because, you know, it's very easy. You might, you might be sick. Something might be wrong with you. You have a little diabetes. And you have two friends. Usually sick people just have friends and always know each other. Always be very well connected. You have sick people group. So if you have lupus, you have a whole group of lupus. You have loop group for diabetes. And I'm not saying it in any way that's something bad. But what I'm saying there are groups. There's support. So get two people and yourself and come down the road. We'll let you know about that. That's coming up in September. Family tree. So look out for that. That's something we're going to be doing at Baxter and Associates. We're trying our best to always, excuse me, ensure that, you know, we give back in some way and, of course, you know, help persons as regards to get themselves healthier. We are all special with our pensioners program coming on soon. So, you know, the first thing is like they hit you, they hit you that shot, you know. Dr. Batson, you know, I want them to remember is a pensioner. So I've heard the pensioners and I have decided to ensure that, you know, you know, because you have to treat the elderly in your country very, you know, that's a very important thing. These people pave the way for us. So it's very important that we take good care of them. So we have that pensioner special coming up. Stay tuned for that. If you're interested in the pensioners special, you can always call. Uh, the Shogunas office, that number is 228261. That's 228261. And what that means is that you're basically going to get specific discounts that the younger people 
or people younger than you who are not pensioners will not be getting. That's basically what it is. So basically, so take advantage of that. The telephone number again for Shagonas is triple two eight two six one. That's triple two eight two six one. The number for the Debe office, Debe is two two three seven five one five. Again, that's two two three seven five one five. The St. James office is located at the Red Edge Mall, Western Main Road, St. James. And the number for St. James is 222-8113. Again, that's 222-8113. Uh, the number for Tobago, Tobago is located at the Triangle Ball, Triangle um, Building, my apologies. And uh, that is located in Scarborough. Uh, that telephone number is 226-4553. That's 226-4553. And uh, we, of course, I was in Tobago last week. Uh, Tobago, you're, you're getting your new office just now. I know, you know, you might say, oh, God, we're here. Not we long this way, but, you know, Rome wasn't building at the end. We had COVID and then, you know, challenges. Normal thing. That's life. But we're going to get it done, and we're going to get it done soon. And, you know, you all will be getting back your foot detox, your blood analysis, everything. Full thing, full words. Okay, Miss Nicole, 8776, is saying, can I use the Santulan and water without a consultation? Of course you can, Miss Nicole. What we recommend, though, the only people who cannot use Santulan would be two types of people, in my humble opinion. If you are dehydrated, if you do not drink water. So let me explain. Take your body weight, how much of your weight divided by two, and that is the amount of water you should have been drinking for the last three months. So if you're 200 pounds, half of 200 is what, 100. 100 divide, 100 into ounces, or 100 ounces, rather, is uh, in liters would be work out about 3.7 liters or something i'll check it just now that is what you should have been drinking for the last three months if you wasn't drinking that please leave the santulan alone because we do not want you to end up in a situation where you have healing crisis what is healing crisis healing crisis is when toxins try to leave your body faster than you want them to you're going to experience nausea rashes um problem with even diarrhea and those type of things and the reason for that is that you are so dehydrated and so toxic that when you finally start to take good things in your body, you get, you may get confused you're trying to pull out everything. And that's what we don't want. Because it's like all of us trying to pass through a regular sized door and we're coming out of the national stadium and we have one little door to pass. People will die. People will trample people and all kinds of things. Mayhem. Chaos. That is what we do not want to happen with the cells in your body. So when we advise that you drink the alcohol water, you know yourself if you know you like plenty meat, Santulan is for you. You know you're working in the people oil industry, you're working on the people plants, you're inhaling acid ammonia when the day comes. You're a mechanic, you are rather a mechanic, an auto mechanic, you're smelling diesel, you're washing your hand with purple blast and all these type of things. You are a hairdresser and you're doing people here, you're a nail tech. Get yourself some Santulan. You know why? Plenty of oil you just die from. That word that start with C and end with an R. And the reason for that is that you are more exposed than the regular person to carcinogens, which are cancer-causing chemicals. So don't play stupid. Really, don't play stupid. You cannot be working. There was somebody, you know who does get a lot of problems with cancer too? People who work in agriculture. You can't be spraying around up and grammar zone and all these type of things and you're not taking clean out and drinking enough water and drinking olive oil and those type of things. You will die. You will die. You know, so years ago, they used to tell you that mechanics and gardeners and people who spray in and things supposed to drink milk. That was the worst advice they give you. What they should I say is to drink olive oil. So that it coats and it doesn't stick and adhere and causes problems in your lungs. People working in shipyards, you deal with serious corrosive chemicals. People who work in the cleaning industry. Wherever you're cleaning, if you're cleaning a school, you're a janitor. People working in gas stations, Jesus Christ, well, always some of the worst. They just can't make children. There's a problem when they make children, they make children who are Down syndrome and all these type of things. And check it, there's research all over the world with that. You can't be smelling, you are smelling that. How do things get into the human body? How? Somebody answer me. Let me see if I can give away something today. If you can tell me, either on Facebook, on Instagram, or on YouTube, what are the three ways, there are three, primarily three ways, in which chemicals enter the body, you'll get a prize. 
a guarantee. So the three ways in which chemicals or anything enters the body, how do they enter? Gases and those type of things. What are the three ways in which chemicals, toxins can enter the human body? Anybody answer that question this morning? You get something real best. I promise you that. Right? Because I want people to understand the severity of that. You can be a hairdresser. 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 You know the things that is used when we are making jerry curl and when on the street, you know, the hair, whatever, whatever, whatever. I smell like hair salon. I remember the first time my mom had jerry curl like hair. And I smell that. I was like, Jesus Christ. I tell my father, I said, Lord God, I'm glad for you. I'm glad I had a light on next to my mother. Because that thing was smelling atrocious. But that was just the first thing, because it was the first time she did it. And then I understand with straightening and that type of thing is a whole different thing. All right? So, oh, good. We had a lot of people here going, whoo, what? Real people answer this. I, I, I'll give you all something. The real answer. Let me see. So, who gets it? Or they have it almost right to know, but somebody needs to get it more precise to me. Precise. In fact, I should change the question. What are the ways? I shouldn't only define three. Because in, in thinking about it, there's really more than three. So what are three ways, in, or what are the ways, rather, I should say, that substances, chemicals, can enter your body? All right? I'm going to give you all something. I promise you that. All right? So the reason I want you all to understand that is because you cannot, you know how much hairdressers this die from cancer? Nail text. Well, if I walk in a place where they was doing nail, nails at time, I watch my eye have to come out of there, you know. I nearly knock out them. I smell an acetone. That's what it is clean, and that's what it is used to clean people's nails. Acetone and that's what of fancy. You cannot be smelling those things. Those things cannot be entering your eyes. So I give you two of the answers there. Inhalation. When you inhale, you inhale what? Oxygen, and you exhale what? Carbon dioxide. So if you're in a room, and you are a nail tech, and you file in people's nails. Filed nails are what? Dust. But that is nail. That is dust from human nails. You know? When that gets into your lungs, what's going to happen to you? Hmm? Think about it. You are a mechanic. You're working in a, in a mechanic shop. You're fixing cars. You ever see when they're idling or see when they're idling vehicles? You can imagine you're idling a diesel vehicle and you ride it. Smelling that, that is going in your nostrils. It is going in your eyes. You absorb chemicals or substances in the body via your mouth. One, two, inhalation through your nostrils. So that that whole inhalation aspect, but your mouth too, you know, because the thing is, anything that goes into the mouth, your gums all around there start to go in you know, sublingual on their tongue. Right? Your eyes, touch, your skin, anything that you put on your scalp, the palm of your hands, the sole of your feet, enter your body the quickest. The, the corner, the, the, the opposite side of your elbow and the back of your knee there, that space there. Those surfaces are very permeable. So you cannot be working in those industries and you not take it. You are a jeweler. You know the kind of chemicals jewelers does use? There was a lady I got me some years ago. Years, years ago. I remember this distinctly. She came to me and she used to do, she ended up with lung cancer. This was years ago. You know what she used to do for a living? See if I could guess. She used to do tie-dye and batik. Tie-dye and batik uses what? Dyes. A lot of dyes have serious chemicals in it, you know, especially dyes for clothes, fabric dyes. Especially if you're dyeing things like linens and those type of things. Those dyes have to be heavier dyes. And usually the heavier or the, the more um, powerful, for want of the expression, the dye is, the more chemically based it is. Plant dye is the very rare they're going to use plant dyes. You could do it, you know. But people in there, that would be more expensive. You know, that girl would die and die that fall. Yeah. Even working CPEP, and this is not criticizing anybody. You, know, you clean in that drain. You know, the, you know what you just smell when you, you know when a drain raise up, for want of a better expression. You know what coming out of that drain? The scent you smell. Watch me, that will kill you. You don't know what you're inhaling. 
Then you have things like mold. Then you have different spores in the atmosphere. So you need your detox. You need your detox. But water is vitally important. Stop the foolishness and drink water. Stop all this big. You all are big people. You are not little children. You tell me what you don't like how water tastes. You 50 years you reach living on this earth with all the sense you have and you want to watch a big man like me and tell me you don't like how water this tastes. Now something wrong with you. You're looking for whatever disease you have. You look for that. According to my great grandmother, you buy that wholesale, lock, stock and barrel. You back up a truck and you just take rubbish. You're killing yourself. Don't do yourself that. So you can always find out about the alkaline water. That is a water that we sell. It's a premium alkaline water. It's, look, it is available at Baxter and Associates. It's quite reasonably priced and a good quality product. I don't make joke with that. Good quality product. All right. Um, Miss Winnet Honore is saying, haha, doctor, you know fully well nobody going and give all of that answer. LOL. No, 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 Miss Honore, I know that, darling, but you all did well. So everyone who answered and got at least, because the majority of people got three of them. I'm going to ensure that I give you something. I promise you that. So I'm going to have Mr. Shaq. You'll take all the names to me. What you all should do is, uh, hmm, well, nobody ain't going to mark nobody on Facebook. I mean, once you're comfortable, what we will do is on the next live, I can always call the names, and you all can send your telephone numbers. Um, when we, we say the names, and you can call the office rather and give us your telephone number. If you don't want to put your telephone number on Facebook, if you're comfortable and you're answering, you're feeling in one of them, they, there where you've got the three, four, then it means that you could give, put, provide your number. So only make my job and my office job easier. Right, but I'm going to give you guys something because I want you to understand that you cannot be, don't do yourself that, don't do it, don't do it. There's a, a young lady I got too, but she came to me too late. She had throat cancer. You know what she was? A hairdresser. And she do the addressing for years. Do not do yourself that you know you're working in the people oil company. You know there's a reason why oil and gas people make a lot of money. I mean, apart from the fact that their job is a skilled job and they, they, they have to study, especially if you do petrochemical engineering and those type of things. But is the, is the dangers that you all are exposed to, all those chemicals. So when you're working and you inhaling ammonia and you dealing with all that, you need to take care of yourself. And let me tell you something, that health and safety is helping all you. Plain talk, bad manners. Don't tell me no foolishness about health and safety. And health and safety in Trinidad is must be almost in the minus. We know coming, I don't even think we know it close to what a first world or anything remotely resembling first world where health and safety is supposed to be. Hospital workers, yes. Very valid point, especially those who work in an extra department and those who work in, in the, the cancer units where you're only dealing with all that chemotherapy and radiation. Or it is the smell in that too and exposed to that. You never go to the dentist and when you do the extra, they put this big thing on top of you and then they run out of the room. What do you think they run out of the room for? That's radiation. Woman, you, don't, you don't want to be exposed to that. If a woman making a baby, she's pregnant and she gets exposed to that too much, that, is it, that child deformed because these things are dangerous. So on your own and then the meat, you know, you're greedy somehow. You, you like pork, you like ham, lamb, jam, everybody use a meat eater. You are one of the persons who wants it is you notice some people that can't eat food without meat? So if you know you're one of them, one of those, rather, get your son to learn seven channel detox, cleans and detoxify kidney, colon, bloodstream, liver, lymphatic system, skin, and your lungs. We can think of all the profession, laundries, people who work in laundries, even people who work in morticians, people who work in, in, um, in, in those, uh, well, mor the morgue. Because depending on some of the chemicals they're using. So you on a, even on a daily basis, Trinidad has one of the worst air quality. Just driving to Port of Spain alone, depending on the day in your car, you can die inside of it. So you need to cleanse and detoxify yourself. Look at the, the, the signs. You have a rash, you have lotus since you're born, and you're 50 years now, and you're lotus down still. The big black nasty factories, that is what it looks like, crap -off. You know, something wrong with you. I remember somebody tell me, Dr. Bassan, I have lotus since I'm small, and as a big man, now I have lotus. So your blood nasty since it's small, and you're big and it's still nasty. So don't try to take it. You know, he's saying that like if there's a prize or something. Then some of you all your perspiration. I'm not trying to embarrass nobody. It's big people we're talking here. You're trying to get help. You're sick, you're not feeling good, and plenty all you don't know why all you're sick. So you know you're not smelling correct. Your mouth on their arm. You need a detox. So someone is asking a very valid question, Ms. Roxanne Didier, saying, how often should you cleanse and detox? And Ms. Didier, 
That is a brilliant question as it relates to what we discuss it. And you should cleanse and detoxify depending on the nature of your job and depending on your diet. So as I said, if you know you're working in oil and gas, you're working in chemicals, take your detox three times for the year, maybe twice for the year, and you can do a maintenance with your santulan. So much my santulan is one of the easiest products to use. Then the lovely pretty ladies who like to dye up all their hair, some of them looking like lights. They hear orange, blue, green. And I'm not being judgmental, eh? you know. So some people that is a thing. You, know? you might have a husband, he like green hair. That is exciting. You might have a husband, he like yellow hair. That is exciting too. So I'm not getting in your business. Do what you need to do. But what you need to do is take a detox. Do you know that women, a lot of women end up blind because of doing their hair? Especially women of African. Why do you think women of African descent have so much problems with fibroids, polycystic ovaries, ovarian cysts, endometriosis? Why? Why do you think? Because of those things you put in your hair. Those chemicals, excuse me, are hormone altering chemicals. All them gel. All they like to see all of your food is, what it is called, Menistel, the other day. They have a name for it. When all they're doing the front all they're here, and I forget what they call it. Yeah. But then you have to put the gel and take the comb and do the fanciness. What do you think that gel have inside it? You have to be careful. So you need to take your cleanse. So that's the answer. You know, if you know you're, you're working in places where, hey, I, I remember I met somebody in the gas station. Let me see how fast I could get it right. For 647, we finish in um, by 655. Yeah, and one of the things I told the person, because the, I was putting diesel in the vehicle, and I moved from where I was. I don't stand up close, close when I'm in a gas station to smell what to be smelling. That I feel like if I die in. Now, some people like to smell that, but that's a, a program for the next day because that means you have mineral imbalances in your body. But in any case, I moved it. So the lady, she said, um, but how come you go so far? What happened? I said, listen to me. I said, how long you working in? She said, I think five days. I said, well, I said, take a clean out. She said, I don't take clean out. I said, it's feel sick. She said, yeah, I always have headaches. And I, but I don't want to be asking the lady because she don't know who I am. So I can't be asking the lady questions. I was just making conversation. And I told her, I said, let me tell you something. I said, you see this work you're doing here? Yeah? You must take care of yourself. Make sure and drink your water. Take your clean out. Drink your little baking soda. Get your little clay and drink it. Because listen to me. Those things, those jobs, this kill you. You're just dead fast, 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 fast. Fast. What was formerly Petrotrin? And I ain't trying to make no bacchanalia or get no lawsuit. But think about it. The people who worked in the oil industry, let me don't call names. Who work in the oil industry or let's check how much of them are alive now just go and check and see and who die find out what they die from a lot of times you will realize it was serious either unexplained circumstances or cancers so it's a fact so please please don't play stupid check yourself before you wreck yourself so those telephone numbers again you can give us a call for the shogunas office is triple two eight two six one that's triple two eight two six one. For Debe, Debe is located on the corner of Ramsey Trace and the SS Erin Main Road in Debe. Uh, that number is two two three seven five one five. We're gonna be getting a lot more teas, maybe in about the next two weeks. Uh, we usually carry a lot of teas of bats and associates. I see someone on Facebook asking a question. Keep in mind, we are live on Facebook. We are bats and associates limited on Facebook. On Instagram, we are bats and associates TT, and on YouTube, we are bats and associates Trinidad. You're listening to the Senior Medical Director at Batsman Associates, Dr. Jason Batson Sogre, the Senior Medical Director. Uh, and of course, we have a lot of, let me say a pleasant good morning to my comrades, Ms. Karishma Ramdan, Mr. Paul Green, Mr. Rene Bastamante. Uh, you know, we working assiduously. Today I'll be in Shogunas, God's willing. Uh, we have our open clinic day in the Shogunas office, and that's something that we will be starting at all the offices. And that's basically to facilitate a lot of clients because we had so much demands for uh, appointments that we could even fill the demand. So we try our best because we don't want to keep sick people waiting. You know, so we try our utmost to put things in place, you know, to be more efficient, more effective so that we can address your issues. Uh, keep in mind, again, you can like us, follow us on Facebook. We are Batson Associates Limited on Facebook, on Instagram, Batson Associates TT, and on YouTube, Batson Associates Trinidad. Miss Ayana Marie says, Dr. Batson, would you have Santulan and water for sale at the health fair in St. Mary's Village? We should. Yes, we would. We would most certainly have. 
Um, Annabella B, blessed weekend, Dr. Watson. Same to you, my dear. Uh, this person is asking, if overseas, do you consult on the phone or how can we get products overseas? Yes, we're actually doing Zoom consultations now or WhatsApp video consultations uh, and uh, we do ship overseas, okay? Uh, they just depend on where you are, of course, the price. Uh, we actually do try to finish um, some stuff with Amazon there, um, but those things take a while. So we're working assiduously to make your life easy and you possibly believe me, my life easier as regards to that. Okay, Miss Anne-Marie Barb says, I like that statement. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You're sure right, my dear? Okay. Uh, so, open clinic day. Uh, keep in mind that special that we have no restore. If you know someone who has problems sleeping, watch me. We are thinking for people to sleep. Watch me. When you take that product, I am telling you, if I was done proper radio with something else, I want to tell you, but watch me. You're the sleep like a baby with that thing. The sweetest sleep you'll ever get in your life. Watch me. I'm not. This is not salesman, fisherman talking. I'm talking proper. I use the product. The, all, the majority of products we sell at Batsman Associates, I use the Alcatel Water, Santulan, Nerve Restore, Cerebral, um, Optimizer, the Eye Optics Formula, I use it. And nothing wrong with me, as far as I know. But I don't want to wait for something to be wrong with me. The only products I don't use is the one specifically for women and the one for like the diabetic or the blood sugar control. Because I don't have diabetes, so I can't take anything to lower my blood sugar or help with insulin and that kind of thing. I do have hypertension, so I would use hypertension tea. But I'll use the prostate tea, the male tea, the gastro tea. That's our aid. That's our real good tea, people. We have a tea called gastro. Um, that we will get again in about two weeks. So give us about two weeks to get teas. We have some, but we don't have the majority. We don't have menopause. That's our real good tea, too. Um, women who are going through this hot flashes and all this thing, you feel like you're going mad, you don't want to talk to nobody, you're crying. Nerve Restore was made for y'all. And we have Nerve Restore, that menopause, and the Nerve Restore and the inflammation formula on special for the month of August. That's one of the promotions we're doing. So check out our Facebook page. We have some new testimonies that we put up. Watch me, there's a gripping one there. Um, you know, I tell persons uh, I, I'm not that good to pay all these people, right? These are people, people who are, those testimonies we have on our pages, and we have more to put up, because we have a lot of, listen to me, results on top of results on top of results on top of results. Okay, Ms. Roxanne, he is saying if a person's eye is continually red, um, it could be some sort of irritant. They need to check the cell for glasses. Uh, it could be some inflammation. The eye optics formula will help with that too. We have an eye, an eye sorry, optics formula um, as well as uh, um, some other eye drops there. Okay, so uh, you have been listening to Dr. Jason Batson, the Senior Medical Director at Batson & Associates. Supporting your health naturally. Those telephone numbers again for Shagona. Shagona is triple two eight two six one. That's triple two eight two six one. Debe is two two three seven five one five. That's two two three seventy five fifteen. Saint James is two two zero eight one one three. That's two two zero eight one one three. And Tobago is the Triangle Building in Scarborough. Tobago, Tobago, and that number is two two six. Four five five three. Keep in mind, we have other lives that we do for other radio programs, but I can't say it now on the radio, but you would get it on the live. So there are a lot of information there for you guys. You know, you want help. If you really want help, we can help you. You know, there's some sick people like being sick because they like the attention. No, we don't deal with that. You want to get better? That is what we're going to do. So remember, as we always say at Bats and Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. God bless and do enjoy the rest of your Saturday morning. Take care. Bye. Right, so social media. Let me let you know. Um, Miss Betty Smith says, good morning, Miss Judith. Judith Proper says, enjoy your day. Thank you so very much, my dear. Annabelle B is saying, what can someone use to who had COVID and their mouth has no taste still. They need to get some silver mineral formula. They need to get the alcohol water. Uh, the number for the international persons, uh, that number is 1-868-314. That's 1-868-314-9975. Again, 1-868-314-9975. Those telephone numbers. Again, remember, we have open clinic day in Shogunas today, so that means we're taking walk-ins. Just call Shogunas, which is 222 8261, 222 8261. 
And if it is you have intentions of doing your blood and scan, keep in mind you cannot eat for three hours. If you come for a consultation, well, that's no problem. You can eat. That is not an issue. Debe, it's 223-7515. That's 223-7515. Keep in mind, tomorrow morning, we have our live. Uh, we will be on uh, Sky 99.5. And that's a two-hour program. Uh, so we're going to have some information there. I have some giveaway for you guys. I'm a man of my word. So I'm going to have to let my office go through that live and get all your information. And I'm going to have to say it. Now, remember, if you send your number, but then again, once we take your name, I'll say it on the live and you'll just call the office and give us your number. All right. Remember, y'all, make sure don't let, don't let your giveaway suffer. Eh? Okay. Because it wouldn't be there for long. Take advantage of it. Tobago, that number is 226-4553. That's 226-4553. And St. James is 220-8113. 220-8130. So again, as we always say at Batson and Associates, if you think health is expensive, try sickness. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. God bless and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Take care. Bye.